Right, let's just look at the sort of past 18 months. Our youth teams have won two World Cups at youth level. They've won the European Championship, the third successive Toulon tournament. We had the joint youngest squad at the World Cup that made it through all the way to the knockout stages. So what do our youngsters or even our England players need to do now to convince Premier League managers that they are good enough? I thought there'd be a real sea change after this World Cup that managers would have been convinced, but they don't seem to have been. Yeah, but they're, not play they're not managing for England. Their concerns aren't the England team. Um, and so are and our players not good problem. enough then? That's probably it. That's well, obviously they're not, because I think if, if the young kids like Foden, um, the Loftus Cheeks, the Lankies of this world, who, who are winning tournaments for England at, at youth level, if they're good enough, they'll be playing because it's such a lucrative sport, it's such a lucrative game for these managers and their jobs are, 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 are on the edge every single game. So they want players who are going to make them win instantly and these boys obviously at the moment aren't being blooded properly. Foden's getting some time, obviously earlier in the season he's getting a bit of time, but still I think that they're not ready. Jade, look at Jaden Sancho, he's tearing up the Bundesliga. He's had to go to Borussia Dortmund to go and get time. Yeah, so they that. are good enough then, because if they go to Borussia Dortmund, yeah, but he's good there's enough, a different yeah, no, opinion no, no, of but, young yeah, players. But he's, over good, there. he's good enough for Borussia Dortmund. They're not Man City. Man City's talent they have in that squad is ridiculous. The depth in that squad. So and he's a kid who said, "I'm not willing to wait." A bit like Pogba. I'm, I know how good I am. I ain't willing to sit here and wait for you to to, to, to to usher me into this team at your pace. I feel I'm ready. I'm going to go somewhere else and play, and I'll come back round the other way. He's had the the, the character, the desire to say, I'm going, I'm going to go and do it a different way. And I think that that's what some of these young kids need to do. Like we were talking before, Phil Foden, a bit honest, if I'm him, I'm saying I need to go on loan. I'm not getting enough time. I want to go on loan and play. Abroad, you think? I don't care. Wherever it is, I want to play. It's think, interesting. Tom, I think you, you went on loan more than, than anybody in the studio and, and you went to English clubs, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. How important was that? Yeah, I think you, you stay in this country, you you're in the manager's mind, you're getting constant reports, um, in the, whether it be in the papers or from scouts. And I think um, the, the squads need, sorry, the clubs need to use 20, 25 man squads. And, and the young players suffer from that a little bit because managers can use you for five, 10 games where if that was me, I'd be knocking on the door and saying, and begging for a full season out on loan somewhere. Well, I mean, th we've got to give these kids that opportunity. You know, Do you agree with Rio that maybe they're just not good enough? There's an element of that. Not good enough, yeah. There's an element of that. But, I mean, Arsene Wenger used to say that he would take an English player if he's 10% less than, a, than a, a foreign player, just to get him in there, because he wants that player who's come through the system, that he knows what the club is, a, is all about. There's a toughness. We shouldn't underestimate the Englishness as well, because we are a tough bunch, and we want it every day. And I, you know, looking at some of the nationalities, that we'd have to say, hey, come on, what are you about? You might have won a World Cup, but are you up for it today? So there's lots of qualities that the English players have. Managers want that in the team. Look at the John Terry's and the Lampard's integral part of Chelsea being successful. There's always been a good blanket of British-based players in the English clubs in Manchester United that have done well. You want them if you can, but they're drying up fast. But we need them to be playing when they're on loan. Go to other English clubs. Go to the Championship. Start in Scotland if you're a young boy. Go up there, that physicality, and then come back and pass the ball and play. You know, there's certain quality characteristics that you need to be successful. Today out there was an example that they had to dig in here today, Manchester United. Mm. And would, do you get that necessarily when you go out on loan abroad? Would you get that if you play in the English leagues? That, that's what they should be looking at. And every player should be going out on loan. There is a feeling that when you're playing for the under 23s and you're playing for Reading, shall we say, example, my son was there. Football. They're playing Man United, they're playing Liverpool. They're not going on loan because they want to play against... They're not playing against the real Liverpool match. They're playing against their 23s. Get yourself out on loan as soon as you can if you're a young player. Yeah, I, I just think that the young players, I think it's, it's difficult. The, 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 the money that's being invested into these squads now. Players are sitting on the bench who are £50 million pound players. Today, Fred's on the bench. He's £50 million pounds worth of player. So the, the, the pathway to these first teams is so difficult because of the investment that's going on. And that's why they, they, they're being forced to go out on loan. It's like Solanke's sitting at Liverpool. He was sitting at Chelsea. He's gone to Liverpool for an opportunity. He's not getting that. You've got to get out. Mm. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm a young kid sitting in the, on the bench, some of them aren't even on the bench, they're in the stands, not even travelling. I'm sitting there going, I've just been talked about as a great future potential. Ruben Loftus-Cheek Loftus had a great Cheek. World Cup. So if I'm at Loftus-Cheek, I'm, I'm banging down the manager's door and saying, listen, are you going to play me or not? If you're not, because I've got potential, I think I'm better than half these players you're bringing in. If you ain't going to play me, tell me. I'm gone. I'm going. Don't, don't, don't have me hanging about here, getting stale. You know what it's like. If you're not playing in a team as a young kid, what, you go stale mentally and physically, yeah. no? 
Yeah, I mean, if I was Ruben Loftus Cheek, I'd be looking at people like Will Hughes, who are jealous. playing week in, week out. I'll be, be jealous. 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 I mean, if he, he, Gareth Southgate must be looking at Hughes. He's playing. So you have to have that belief, though, Jake, don't you? You know, I always say to you, you've got to be having yourself as a player. You know, I mean, I, I was knocking on the manager's door at Arsenal, until I, and then they sent me on loan. And I just took off. Nobody yeah. expected me to play to play that well. Uh, but for me, it was like someone, I just burst out the door and was just couldn't, I was playing fullback like a flying winger. I just couldn't wait to show people what I was capable of. I came back as a different person, respected suddenly within the building, didn't have that respect it's before I went It's such a difficult decision though, because if you're Ruben off the cheek for example, you're sort of sold this dream that you are a big six footballer, you're at one of the biggest clubs in the country, you know, you're at Stamford Bridge every week playing the Manchester United oh, and the Liverpools. You, do you then have to make a decision that maybe for your England career and your career, it's, it's, you're better off at a Leicester? No, it's down to the character. It's down to the, the boy inside, the fire inside. I would take it personally. I'm not, if I'm Loftus-Cheek now, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, I see him, he's got every tool in the bag. Size, the stature, the, the feet, beautiful, great runner. I'm sitting there saying, how dare they talk about F Phil Foden? How dare you? That's an insult. How dare they talk about Jesse Lingard? How, how dare they talk about Deli Ali before me? That's the way you have to be thinking. That's the mindset. So your of what's a your top message player? then to those young players who are not involved and feel they should be? Get out of get the comfort out. zone. Get out. Get out. Tell the, the manager, zone. thank you very yeah. much. I love the kit and everything. I love the badge. But if you ain't going to play me, I'm gone. Because I feel I should be playing in your first team. And by the way, I want to play for my country. So to do that, I need to play 90 minutes most weeks. So thank you very much. Let me go. You got to. Get out. Yeah, speaking from experience, that I don't think I'd have ever got him to Manchester United's first team. I haven't uh, gone to Wigan the season before and played under Roberto Martinez, played 25 games in the Premier League. And it's, it's massive experience you get and exposure. And you see a difference. But it's you see a difference in the players. To, it, yeah. You see the difference. When Tom came back from Wigan, every player in the change room goes... Uh, yeah. He become, he's become where, a man. Where he's Martin become a, said, a man. you become respected. Mm. Uh, I think that's. And you suddenly feel a million dollars, don't you? Yeah. And then you're in the training sessions. You can feel the extra power, the extra strength, mm. and then the respect. Um, I think it's important though that there is a pathway, a plan. Yeah. Not just go to a, send a player to a club of a mate you've got in the game and just trying to help him. You know, there's got to be a plan. And there's certain clubs that cert will, cert will suit certain players. Mm. You've gone and worked with Martinez, so he's going to pass the ball. It's going to develop the strength within your match. That's what we need to do is pick a pathway for, for each player. You had that, Tom, no? You had the pathway. You, had, you, you Jesse de Lingard, very similar in that yeah, sense. Yeah, very similar. I mean, I, my pathway was League One Leicester, Championship Watford, Premier League Wigan. Then I started the Charity Shield in the pre-season after. So it was, it was the perfect stepping stones for me. I think Tom was an, he was an example as well at Manchester United, something I'd heard, that they changed the, the age group. They basically, you've got to make it by a certain date. At Arsenal, it was 18, back in my day. I think for now, they've now changed that to 21 because it took Tom so much longer to get into there. And that's what it is now. We need to give them more time. Don't give up on these youngsters because, you know, they, OK, you don't give up on yourself, but you need somebody to back you and tell you that you're good enough. I remember Frank Lampard sitting on this very programme a season ago and saying the, one of the issues with our young players is too much too young. You can't be turning 17, 18, 19 year olds at Chelsea and Liverpool and Man City into millionaires and expecting that to be the very best for them. The problem is they do get too much too early, but good luck to them. But that should not change. Not your... good luck to them if no, no, that no, then no, affects their decision making. But then it shouldn't change their character. It shouldn't no. change their okay, desires. Not. When you're, you're 17, you've you... got to be. Listen, I was paid a lot of money as a kid. But I had, I had dreams. I, I wanted to go and play for a team that could win the league. I wanted to play for a team, uh, go and play for England. You've got to set yourself targets. Begin of every season. Maybe you're you go, an exception, though. You know, generally, turning a 17-year-old into a millionaire is not going to make that person unbelievably driven and go out there and desire and demand success. In terms of like, oh, the potential to be a millionaire at a young age, yeah? I had nothing as a kid. I was from, I was from a, 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 a fairly rough estate, etc. My, my, my yeah. mentality didn't change. If it was right for you doesn't mean it's right for all these other players. Maybe that's part of the problem, too much, too young. Well, I think what it's they look at... It's too much, too young. It's just because the character's different. But Rio, they look, at, they look at society. Within society, they're doing well. Nice car on the driveway. You know, they've got a four-bedroom house. So within the sort of the more other people, they think they're doing well. But in fo footballing terms, they're doing nothing. Do you know, they're doing nothing. And the club should actually manage what they pay them. Do you know, to keep... To keep them keen, you know, they, they've got to, they should have a balance. Keep your life simple. I often say that here about, you know, as you're a young football player, you know, you have one car, you have one watch, keep it simple. Then you play in a simple manner. Mm. You take it onto the pitch. A lot of the guys, they complicate things. They can't wait. 
They want their first, uh, you know, want to go and buy this great big car that they bring to the training ground. It's not right. It doesn't sit right. And the group, everyone looks at him and say, he ain't going to make it. His head's, he's gonna, his, his head's away with the fairies already. It and comes everyone down to thinks what that. you want. It comes down to what you want as a kid. What do you want? I don't want people to talk about my car. I don't want people to talk about, oh, I've got the new pair of trainers on or whatever. I want people to say, oh my gosh, this guy, this guy is not only talented, he works hard and he's producing moments in games. If you're a football player as a kid, it's not about what you got, what Instagram, all this stuff, I've got all this on Instagram, on social media, whatever. Or it's about what you was doing as a 10 year old. You wanted to be a player, you dreamed about being a player. So you don't sit there in the squads and sit in there, thanks for, I'm paying a load of money now, I'm going to sit in the squad and just get my minutes here and there. You want to be an integral member I, of your I, team. I, I think they're, they have to be educated to think they come into the game because they love the game. They don't come in mm. for the riches and the wealth they get with that. They should want to be a star at that football club and make your marks so that people are still talking about you long after you leave. That's what you should be aiming at. First of all, you prove you're better than the group that are there and get into the first team. I didn't apologise for it when I was at Arsenal as a young player. I was desperately trying to take people to places, as we all were. We sat and watched it. We sat with the Roadcastles and Thomas in our youth team, the Adamses. We'd watch the, opposition, the, the first team and say, I think we're better than them. You've got to have that inner belief to try to get there. And then one day it can happen. But I, we have to give them a pathway as well. We have to have. There has to be a pathway. There's not enough English managers for me that want to. Want, it's still managers of, in general. That's a worry. A lot of foreign managers, and do they want it? That's why I like Pochettino because he wants to play the English players. The, the reality is, uh, we're below Spain, Italy, Germany, and France in terms of playing players from our own nationality. And the country in Europe that plays the most players from their own country is France. Won the World Cup over the summer. 